Hello once again, this is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching. First, I'd like to thank Mr. Michael Payton for posting the last two videos on his channel on the Bible Barney incident. And now, of course, we do know that it was Sean who did it. As far as your hope that Sean might take this incident and, you know, it might make him a better person or he might learn from his mistakes in the future. I think you need to look back at Sean's history here on YouTube to show why I believe that, that is not going to happen. Sean at one point had, what, almost 30,000 subscribers. And he could post a video where he asked his subscribers to send messages to another channel or post comments on that person's channel asking that person to debate Venom. This was experienced um, by Thunderfoot and perhaps other people. And he would receive comments on his videos telling him how great they were and how much they learned from him and what a great guy he is and how much they appreciated his channel. Certainly he had his detractors, certainly he had his critical comments, but he had 27,000 subscribers and he had certainly a loyal core following of people and at times when it looked like Sean might have to close his channel or he might get into some kind of trouble he always had people to stick up for him and tell him how great he was. At one point he was even able to ask his subscribers to send him money and they sent him money and he used this money what was it like a few thousand dollars to go off and buy those things he wanted. He had software on his computer as well as um, video recording equipment where he could make even better videos than the ones he had made initially. And one day, not long ago, all that came to an end. All the subscribers are gone, all the people on his YouTube friends list gone, all that video recording equipment useless at least for making videos for YouTube um, he doesn't have a group of people that he can say hey go send that guy a PM and tell him that he should debate me or you know encouraging people to flag down someone's videos I don't know if he really ever did that or not but uh, certainly that is a result of what happened to people's videos who criticized uh, Sean in the past. And even today there are people still loyal to him and angry that anyone would dare criticize Sean in any fashion. You know, I, I think it was too much to ask for Sean to give all that up. Because once you have that kind of power it does give you a very heady feeling when you have a loyal band of followers who will do what you ask them to do certainly within reason. I don't think that they would kill someone for Sean or break into a bank or anything like that. But to send a PM or post a comment, send him money, once you have those kinds of people around, you know, and you one day you lose it all, that comes as a shock. I think Sean was so much in love with all this fame and to a certain extent fortune that the sudden and dramatic and very public loss of it all was more than his personality could tolerate. I think at his core, Sean is a bad person. I think that he is mean-spirited, I think that he is vindictive, and I think that he is vengeful. I don't think that he can even when his faults and his wrongdoing are made plain to him that he can accept that. I think that he is resentful for someone pointing out to him that he has done something wrong even when he knows that he's done something wrong. In his Bible Barney video where he posted a rather angry looking picture of Thunderfoot and Richard Dawkins, that showed that his old grudge against Thunderfoot is still alive and strong. 
I honestly believe, and no one can convince me otherwise, that if Sean had it in his power to shut down Thunderfoot's channel once and for all, I think that Sean would do it. I think that he would do it without hesitation. And I think that he would be glad that he did it, even if the methods used were illegal or immoral in some fashion. That's the kind of person I think Sean is. Sean could have subjected his family to some serious financial um, difficulties involving Sick Kids Hospital. He could have found himself inside a courtroom uh, for the libel of DPR Jones. His misuse of the DMCA could have seriously resulted in jail time for him. Because that's perjury. You perjure yourself under oath when you fill out that document falsely. Despite the close call, Sean is not thinking to himself, wow, I did something really bad there. I'm glad I didn't end up in court or having to pay a fine. No, Sean is angry at the people who are responsible for his channel being shut down. I don't think he's grateful to these people for pointing it out to him and then sparing him the legal consequences. I think he's mad at these people because they just didn't roll over and let him do what he wanted to do, which was to persecute them, to lash out at them and injure their reputations. As far as Sean taking this incident and becoming a better person or a better Christian, that, my friend, is a pipe dream. That is not going to happen. I can predict with, with no lack of certainty that Sean will make yet another attempt to return to YouTube. And he will be very sly about it, and he has undoubtedly learned from this last incident not to publicize his return on his Facebook page where he could be found out, as he was by yourself. If he does attempt to return, he will do it in a much more uh, sly and underhanded manner. You know, I know I'm going to take some heat for having said this, but I honestly believe that Sean is a bad person. I think that he is selfish and self-centered. He is the kind of person who enjoys self-glorification and enjoys the adulation of a crowd. He is that kind of person. I perceive him to be that way. And there's no one around here who can tell me anything differently. There are certain people who can ask their subscribers to post a comment on someone's channel page or on their videos as Coughlin666 did to the neo-Nazis in the past and to certain other people. But he's never asked anyone to send him money. Sean has, and Sean got it. And he probably liked that money very much and was very angry that it suddenly came to a screeching halt. Okay. Even when he knows what he is doing is wrong, if it benefits him, he wants to be allowed to continue to do it. All right? That's how he is. And while I thank you for helping us, you know, catch his latest attempt here, I I do not share your hope that Sean will use this to become a better person in the future. Sean is now the way he's probably going to be for a long time. I wish it could be otherwise. I just don't see that happening. This is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching.